Hey guys, Sick P365 Part 2. We have to do it because for some reason the battery got bumped and the video stopped a little bit after 14 minutes, Part 1. So I've only put 15 rounds to it. I need to do at least 10 more. I'm actually going to do 11 more. I usually do 25, but I feel like doing 11 more so I can do a few things. So now let's get into some rapid fire, see how it controls. Let's do some Mozambiques and finish with the Fast Five. Alright, so I got a new target up. So I actually saved you a little bit of time. Now gun is uh, still got five in it, I believe. No, I got I loaded six. So I think I got six in the gun. And let's try at five yards. It's not zoomed in that much. Let's try at five yards a couple Mozambiques. Oh, easy to press check. The slide goes back pretty easy. I never front pass check. Look tactical, but wow, it's really easy to do on this. And the slide's pretty easy to manipulate, so that is good for small statue people, less strong people, uh, women, elderly, etc. that might have a problem. But maybe, I think it's a design, but also this is a range gun that's gotten a lot of use and it's been working. So that's a good thing, that's a bonus. Alright, that's about five yards, maybe four yards. Let's move it back to the All right, let's try a couple. Now this is the flat mag. Let's try a couple uh, Mozambiques. Already right, control. It's bobbling up and left there in recoil on me, uh, especially with my pinky underneath it. Let's try it again. Uh, the center mass shots are good, but my head shots are always in the uh, circle. I'm never off on the side like that with any pistol. Again, this is a smart pistol. I'm not hitting on the SIG. It's just a smaller, different category. That's pretty slow on the, those Mozambiques as well. So guys, um, I got them in the center. That's, that's, that's fine. That's good. That's purely acceptable to me. Uh, but the headshots, maybe the transition, those should be in the circle. For me, with, with any other uh, pistol, I, I shoot bigger. Pistols, double stack, striker pistols, you know. Um, so guys, I'm not hating on the SIG. I'm going to shoot a fast five through it. I'm not hating on it. I'm really saying it's a different size. It's really different. It's LC9 size. It is smaller than the Glock 26. It is smaller and lighter than a Walther PPQ SC. Therefore, its shootability is maybe enough to survive and it's nothing to sneeze at and it's definitely better if you're going to be lazy carrying something bigger and you leave it at home because I'm just going to the store for a gallon of milk then the 365 carried 365 is better than a 45 in the drawer okay I'm not saying that I'm just saying it's different and I'm not shooting it as well and you'll see that and I knew this was going to happen I knew this was going to happen I'm a good shooter but Lucky Gunner it's hard to find out but Lucky Gunner did a very good uh, test with like 30, 32 different pistols, I think, at, at this point. And then he kind of left it. It's something that people should pay attention to. Taking the same shooter in the same condition, shooting the same uh, series of fire with different pistols. And you pretty much see that, you know, full size does this level range. And then there's a certain kind of mid size, like shield. But if you drop anything below a shield size, to an LC9, to a J frame, to 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 anything kind of less than like shield PPS is kind of in the middle, then the times and the accuracy are going way down in the same series of fire. People need to be realistic with the size of their firearms. Now, I like it. I do like it. Um, the fact that I'm having a little bit, and I'm a big guy that's never recoil sensitive, it's just not um, going uh, as fast for me. Let's be. Uh, let's do a fast five only at three yards. At five yards, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep my fast five in the circle.